Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. I'm going to show you what is going on in the day by day household. Sophie be working on math. This is really easy. Can you put me in as a worksheet? No, we're moving on. Please. Moving on. Not for like today. Okay. Macy is hanging out in the dirty laundry pile. What are you doing, Sam? Working from home. What are you doing, Sam? Facebook. How was Penny with her feet today? She was terrible. Why was she terrible? So shaking. Shaking like she a leaf. Like her feet on the. She doesn't like her foot in the bucket. So we need so to. I work. just kept giving her treats, giving her treats, and then she's to try to take her foot out and splash water everywhere. Soaked me, and then still had her foot in the bucket. So I said, "Oh, that's good at least." Then when it was time to get her foot out of the bucket, she wouldn't take her foot out of the bucket. Sam so I had to walk her out of the bucket. Oh, good. So the barn's all clean with fresh water all over the floor? Yeah. Good. All right. Gabby's over here working on... What are you working on, Gabby? My school. Math. No coffee in Gabby yet. You'll meet Kath, coffee Gabby in a couple hours. Um, I'm over here doing spring cleaning, washing all the cushions for our couch. Ruby, Molly, Daisy. Daisy's busy over here. I'm going to wash this. I'm just getting ready to wash this dog bed and put it in Gabby's room. So I'm going to sh show you guys what Daisy does with this toy with her mouth. So okay. So first of all, they took a toy that's filthy and put another toy inside of it. And the to dogs are it. and the dogs are all obsessed. Okay. So Daisy Gabby like, did. She spends like half an hour trying to get the ball. And she gets it and she just holds it there and just runs around. Yeah. So, so she gets catches the ball in her mouth and then she runs around holding the inside ball. Yeah, and she drops it and she gets very mad. Yeah. Sam, what's your contribution to homeschool? My contribution to homeschool is to uh, allow them to do their work. What have you been teaching them? I've been teaching Sophie. About investing. Oh, yeah. Right? That's right. Sam is big about investing money. We're investing in Bitcoin now. They're, they're yeah, doing Bitcoin stuff. Sophie, how are you liking investing? Good. Sophie, why aren't you, Gabby, why aren't you investing? I am. Oh. She's in there too. Oh, okay. So that is Sam's contribution. And if you all are like me, you could not care less about Bitcoin. Yeah, that was not my thing. But it'll make you rich at 25. It could make you rich. It's true, but I'm rich with love, you guys. Love is my currency. My Love is my currency preference. That That's, that's the planet Mars. That's that. Sam, Love Sam likes that. money. Let's show them. Okay, so look at this. Can you guys see that? This is Mars. Wait. And it just looks like a whole, a whole lot of dirt. Keep it going rocks. around. Yeah, it's like all dirt. Just looks like all dirt. And I said, that doesn't even look that uninhabitable, Mars. And then Sam said Can that it used to be inhabited by things. And now yeah. it's not, which is so scary. Look at it. Yeah, that's... The Mars rover, that's on there. Right now. It's a new rover. Yeah, like that could happen to us, you guys. And what other planets did you say they think things are on? Jupiter. Jupiter. That's why we go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Right. We no, could go there and mom, be aliens to them. Girls go to college to get more knowledge. Boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. That is the truth, man. All right, so back to the dog bed. I'm going to wash this one today and put it in Gabby's room. You guys know that the dogs sleep with their girls at night. Except for Daisy. Except for Daisy. Like Daisy loves her crate. She has a nice blanket in there. That's probably why. But um, uh, Ruby does not sleep in a crate at night. And what happens is that after Gabby goes to sleep, Sam whistles and Molly comes running down, takes her for a pee, puts her in the crate for the night. Because in the past, she's not been reliably well behaved when we're all sleeping. So then the other side of it is that that dog hears us wake up in the morning and she starts barking and barking and barking. It's the only time she barks is when she hates her crate. She hates it. So we decided last night... We're going to train her to stay out of the crate. Two nights ago, we trained her. So the first night, she was up two times in the night. One time, she ran downstairs, woke us up. When Molly goes downstairs, she goes down like a typical Border Collie, and she takes two steps to get down all those stairs, and all you hear is pew. And so Sam got up, put her back in Gabby's room, and then a few hours later, all of a sudden, I felt this big pounce. And I looked over and there's this dog wagging her tail, all happy, in between Sam and I. And she climbed in bed with Sam and I. So Sam took her back to bed. So then last night, I got up to pee once. And she, I looked over and she was sitting there beside me wagging her tail. And I sent her back to bed with Gabby and she went. So last night was only one time she got up. So she, I mean, she's smart. 
She's getting it. I don't know why we didn't do this lot earlier. Like, Gabby was she worried. She's too small of a bladder and she chewed up all my clothes. She's too small of a bladder. She had too small of a bladder and she chewed up Gabby's clothes when we tried it before. Mm -hmm. So, I'm excited for a time when we can do it with Daisy and then we have none of our big dogs in crates at night. So Sophie woke up feeling amazing. She's got her riding pants on. She's got her new sweater on that you guys missed yesterday's video. She bought a sweater to match her friend's sweater. Now. Yeah, we're up here to feed the baby dragon. All the dogs are here because you can't go anywhere in this house without them. Did you leave that open all day? No, I just opened it when I came in. Well, there's still a beetle in that. That's okay. So, if you guys are interested in seeing our crickets, watch. I'm going to show you. We're getting better at being brave about crickets. So, oh, I'm not. So you might think these are all the crickets that we have, but watch this. Yeah, they like to hide. And if I lift this one up too, they're all under there as well. We've gotten really good at keeping crickets. Anyway, we're going to feed the dragon and then we're going to get ready to go to the barn. But before we do, I wanted to tell this story. She's hungry. She's like, give me food. Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys this story about how we met one of our subscribers yesterday. It was such a funny story. I'm so, coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. You are home. You are home, silly. Tell the boys we're coming home. We're coming to visit them. Anyways. So, basically, we were at the mall, and Sophie was sitting with her friend and her friend's mom and her friend's brother, and because of COVID, you can't all sit together anymore, so we had to find another table, so we were far away from them. It was me and Gabby. It was Gabby and I. It was Gabby and Brooklyn and me. Sophie was over here. We were over here, and over here, I just was looking around. I just happened to notice this girl and her mom, and I couldn't tell because they had masks on. I couldn't tell if it was her mom or if it was like a friend, but the, the girl she's 14 she was like they were nose to nose like you could tell something crazy was happening over there like they were this close together and they were staring in each other's eyes and the girl's eyes were like this big and she was talking they were talking they were obviously talking about drama it was very dramatic like I just looked over I glanced over and I thought maybe the girl was the younger girl was like trying to tell the older girl about like some girls were mean to her or some boyfriend problem like it was obviously a dramatic situation so I looked over and then I was like oh well that's rude I shouldn't just stare at them and then so I, I turned away and then a few minutes later the younger girl just started coming over to us and you could tell like she had adrenaline in her like she I love this girl you guys like you know how you meet someone God brings somebody into your life that has the same kind of energy as you and the same kind of like you just can connect with them well that's what this girl was so she comes over and she's just kind of marching over and she's talking as she's walking to us and already I'm trying to figure out who she is and what she's trying to say I suspected that maybe she knew us because that happens to us often and so anyways, as she's walking, she's saying like, this might sound crazy, but I've watched your guys' videos. And then we just started chatting, but it was so funny. Such an amazing situation. Her, then her mom was saying like, this is such a weird thing. Like I hear your voice in my living room all the time. And so talking to us like in real life, it just seems like such a weird thing. And I've had people say that before too. Like people who watch us on our videos and then they come over and then they walk in to like our barn and they're like wow it just feels so weird like it's hard to connect the two parts of your brain so anyway i just wanted to share that story with you because she was so fun and funny and i could have sat down and talked to her all day like i didn't even want them to leave that's how much i love this girl and their mom and her mom and the reason i wanted to tell you the story is because one it was super amazing and felt amazing to me but two because i always like to take a moment and thank God and be appreciative of those moments when he brings somebody into your life, even if it's just for a minute, that makes you feel amazing and that you really connect with and that you just feel like you're a part of them. Like it's like, it's like you plan to meet each other at some point in your journey here on earth. And then when you do, your spirit is singing and it just gives you this incredible feeling. And I know it's happened to all of you guys too at some point and I just wanted to point out how amazing it is and how we should always give thanks that God was able to bring somebody that could lift us up in our journey like it was it was I just love that girl I'll never ever forget her name or her horse's name like she's just amazing and I can't wait to meet a lot of you guys I've met a lot of you guys that give me the same feeling um can't wait to meet you guys especially at the Royal Winter Fair and don't forget 
God gives you people for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And the people who come into your life just for a split second, just for a reason, are sometimes some of the best experiences that you ever get to have. Well, there will not be any riding outside anywhere in the near future. It's pure slush and ice. What do you think is slipperier? The mud or the ice? What do you think is more slippery? The ice or the snow? Or the snow? Like the ice or the mud? The mud, it was the mud for me. Hooey! It's kind of chilly out there. Everything is thawing. Water everywhere. It won't be long. It will not be long. Update on Penny Pickle. Soaking her foot has really helped. Uh, there's no heat in her foot anymore. And when I press on the side where it was a little bit sore, sensitive, doesn't hurt her anymore. So tomorrow is our penny pickle day and I'll uh, run her and get our trainer to look at a video and see how she's doing. But there's a lot of hay out here. I love the way that Gabby throws hay. Gabby always throws hay so that Penny can go behind the barn. I love that, like that's just being considerate. Whew, it is chilly. Are you excited to ride your boy? Mm -hmm. Who are you riding? Storm. Stormy night. I'm not gonna lie, it almost we almost died coming down here. Like. Risked our life to come down and feed lunch, you guys. It's pure mud, and I don't like to walk where the grass is. If you guys didn't see the video, we got sent a package from Maine Delights, M A N E Delights on Instagram, and it's these super cute sugar cubes and some super cute little muffins. I'm gonna take a gummy bear, I think, for Finn. Oh, it's a gummy bear sugar cube. Can I try it? Sophie's been trying, dying to try these for days. It's sugar. It is sugar. All right. So today is actually quite icy out. It's probably one of our first days that we've actually, it's been a bit concerning. This whole winter, we've hardly had any ice and hardly any snow compared to normal. So we definitely don't want our horses to run today, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. So, uh, it's actually not too slippery here. I'm impressed. And all three of our horses are just chilling here. And Finny's coming. Wow, they missed us. Uh-oh, don't even think about it. Today started out mild, but it's supposed to get really, really cold, like minus 20 or minus 15 tonight, and then go really warm tomorrow. So the horses really need their blankets on tonight, and I noticed a horse out in this field that has his blankets all up around his neck. I don't even know how to get out here. So I'm gonna go out there, try and rescue him. This field, on the other hand, is super scary. So it was that Cremello who jumps fields all the time. His, so in Canada, we layer blankets because it gets that cold. So he has two blankets on, and one of them's a Rambo, and one's another brand I've never used before. And let me tell you, I could not figure it out, but he had his blankets completely wrapped around his, like, one blanket was completely like a neck blanket all the way up on his neck, the whole huge blanket on his neck. And then the other one was so tight everywhere I don't even think he could move. So it took me like 20 minutes to figure it out. I had to like, I was standing on icy stuff. I had to walk on, on a hill, an ice hill to get on one side of him. And that horse did not move. He stood there the entire time while I fixed his blankets. And then the second I was done, phew, Gone. Debbie locked me out because it's cold. It's cold. Yeah, they're all shutting. No joke. Spring is in the air, but not today. Tomorrow's supposed to be warmer. Did you know I literally could not figure out his blankets? I had to strip them completely bare. Oh, look how satisfying. And he stood there the whole time. Didn't move. I, I, his, his blankets were tied around his legs. And his belly so tight. Oh, okay. Shh, you guys be quiet. Okay. So, anyways, 
You guys might not have noticed. I gotta fix this. He scratched, he's itchy. He scratched the whole bum of his blanket off. Some people might say, oh no, some other horse great came and pulled it, but I'm gonna show you why I know he scratched the blanket off. Because look at his tail. So, I don't know, he's always been itchy. We clean him, I, I'm gonna, I have one more thing I can try. But I don't know you guys, like that's the worst it's ever been. No, he's, it's been worse. Been he's, worse. Has it? Yeah. I'll have to ask Fiona. I, do I know. It gets a lot better in the summer. It starts actually growing. Mom, and then I need to talk. Okay, talk. Okay, so sorry I have not been posting on my TikTok recently because I've been kind of busy with school and going to the mall yesterday. <laughs> I'll try and post some more. So on your YouTube, hours, you mean? For. No, my TikTok. On your TikTok. Oh, interesting. So That's I'm three hours that we do school for. Yeah, Sid's the girl who does school like literally for four hours max each day. And the girl that went shopping one day this week. Like, she's cute though. Like, I think like people use the same excuses for everything. So she just jumped on that excuse bandwagon and. <laughs> I know, but what's the real reason? What have you been doing? <laughs> Playing video games, sitting on her phone, eating. Hi, Finny. How's your tail looking? Oh, you got a nice tail. He's got a perfect tail. No, he has a thin tail. It's a nice tail. Storm. Uh oh, he'd be looking dead. Are you running out there? So, uh, to answer some people's questions, recently we've been getting a couple of questions on why the heck would you let your horses out in the ice and the snow and the rain and all that kind of stuff. Well, at this barn we don't really get a choice. All horses go out. They, you can't just keep your horse in and make extra work for the barn owner for no reason. If a vet requires them to stay in, then absolutely. But you can't just be like, oh, I think my horse will stay in today. It looks a little like it's going to rain. Like, you can't do that. We can't do that. And then also, these are Canadian horses. They know about snow. They know about ice. They know about rain. They know about freezing their tails off. Right, Starry Night? Not Chino. He looks off. Looks really tired. He's fat. Oh, yeah, that happens to me too. You know that feeling when you're like, because you ate too much? Yeah. So, we don't always get a choice at this barn. If our horses need to stay in, then they need to stay in. And they are familiar with the weather, but. There are days where barns completely close and we completely close as an entire province. Like we, there are times when if the ice and the weather get bad, all horses stay in. Nobody's allowed at the barn. Like we do have times. Yeah, maybe you should shave, shed Stormy's butt I wanna tail. I want to shave Chino in the summer. I want to do a full body clip. Full body clip. Now that Gabby has clippers, she's obsessed. I want to clip Willow. So was Finny good today? I told them that he better come to me because I got a licorice, giant, really long licorice for Finn. And um, they look exhausted. They look exhausted. It lo they look like we came at nap time. Gab, what do you have planned for Storm today, Gabby? Nothing much, but he hasn't been ridden in a while, so putting on boots to protect him. Yeah. I'm so happy to be with you guys. I was so happy. I kind of crave for to bring them so home. I'm so happy today. I'm so happy. Yeah, so people woke up so happy I today. I home this summer, but I want to hire somebody to come and take care of them. Yeah. All right. Anybody who wants to be our groom, apply at daybyboringday at gmail.com. You already have one. Joy. I know. We have a friend that is so good at like cleaning and taking care of the horses. She's just a young girl, but she has such a good way about it that... Even the girls and I all agree, and we never agree on every, on anything, all of us. My horses are well trained. Like, I bought them well trained for the bridal. Not Chino, though. Chino opens his mouth without you telling him to, but he used to spin all the way around in cross ties. And but Finn Storm just fights you. Everybody's, yeah. everybody's Storm, like, so excited. Storm used to do it, even though I still had to make him open his mouth. But, um... It's nice bridal. Yeah. Look at that. I got it for Christmas. All nice and shiny, not dirty. Where were you at Christmas? You can tell who buys the Christmas presents in this family. No, it's just clean. What am I? I never cleaned it. Except for anybody who's worried about Finney's neck strap, here it is. Oh. Put a whole fist in there. Not I can fit too. Finney's strap, have you seen them? <laughs> 
Are you saying that fat people want fat animals know that they're fat and know that they need to work? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's no, it. No one needs to work out. I need a whip for cantering. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so happy. Sam's going to stay in here and broom it for us. Nice look at his look at his tail. Yay, I have a horse that can turn around. Oh my gosh. Rip the whole blanket scratching it. Okay, when you come out, say door. Twice. Yeah, are you coming out to be with us? Yeah, come on. Family affair. It is a family affair. Storm is looking a mess. And his neck has got bite marks. Oh, goodness. His face has got bite marks. Why you gotta play so hard out there, Stormy boy? Every barn we've ever gone to have always said, Storm and Tex together, oh man, that's all they do is wrestle each other. Tex and Storm go through the same amount of blankets. You okay? Why are you looking so sad? Hey? If you're new to the channel, then you might see a discrepancy in between Morning Gabby, which you saw this morning, and Coffee Gabby, which is what, who you're seeing this afternoon. Coffee Gabby set this whole arena up, and she has a plan, and Morning Gabby is not this girl. Morning Gabby is a little more grouchy. Just a little, she said. <laughs> if you ever meet Gabby in public, you want to pray that you get Coffee Gabby. All right, so we're done our ride and Stormy Boy is breaking free, or Stormy Boy's getting new blankets on or different blankets on. I'm sure that cut that he has on his neck is from him trying to break out of a blanket. I'm sure of it. I'm sure he tried to break out of this blanket. He does not like big, heavy blankets. It's only a medium weight. But I'm gonna, all the straps and everything are good. I'm gonna take it home and sew the butt again. Finny, you are such a good boy. Storm was such a good boy. Yeah, I love this mood. Finn is getting sugar cubes and licorice because he did such a good job and Sophie promised him and he knows he's watching. His ears are perked forward. Like what a handsome boy. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the